What's up guys and welcome to another Summoner's War Chronicles video. In this video we're just going to go over White Shadow Castle uh, Hero Raid. Um, to be honest, this is probably the easiest one. <laughs> I'm going to just keep it a bean. I think this is not that hard. It's actually pretty easy. As long as you're able to follow the mechanics, which aren't that crazy to begin with. Um, it's, it's not hard. It's pretty easy to understand so i'll go i'll go over it so that way people can understand what to do what to bring i'll go over multiple monsters that you can bring into the raid and if you enjoy the video make sure to like comment on the video as well any type of help you want to summons or chronicles that can potentially make a video on i also now dual stream on twitch and now youtube so you can follow here on youtube or you can follow on twitch as well and you can catch me live um, most days now, I'll be streaming tonight um, as they're recording this video, uh, helping all East players since now we have the East West merge. So I'll be helping any East players that need help or need any type of uh, guidance when it comes to just getting better at the game. All you gotta do is just you know just catch one on live, and I'll help you no matter what. I'll try to do the best I can and try to get you through all your raids. So without further ado, let's go do a White Shadow Castle hero. All right, so for starters, like I said, this raid is really easy. It's not that hard. Um, you just have to, there's, there's not much that's changed. If you go over uh, the strategy tips, basically the only thing that's pretty much changed is that he now does a retrieve soul. The problem is they don't tell you what the retrieve soul like does. <laughs> like Let's say if it, if it gets to like max level, like what it does, they kind of just don't say it. Um, but anyways, uh, so basically what happens in the raid, he gets retrieve soul every time you do in a skill that does damage based off of harmful effects so that literally means argon <laughs> he is he is saying that, that what, what they're saying is argon if you use his skill 2 his skill 2 does damage based off of harmful effects same with naraha if you do those skills he will get more retrieve soul now um, again they don't really tell you or really describe what uh, what's, what it does but for the most part people are still using argon because uh, there's a little trick that you can use so that, so that way you do it so that way you don't have to worry about it and that is bringing a person with weak points now if you're not sure what weak point is basically it's with a skill one ability or if you have silver fang if you were around for the one punch man collapse so unfortunately the only people that do weak point damage are the magical archers so you have to have a magical archer it does not matter which one if you're like well just what about my light one sure go ahead what about my dark one sure go ahead what about my i don't know multicolored one I don't know how you got that, but sure, go ahead. But for the most part, all you got to do is bring a magical archer. I would say at least two to three people in the raid should have a magical archer, if, especially if you're going to bring Argons. But to be honest with you, you don't need to bring Argon. This could be the one raid where you can you can have Argon rest, you know? Argon's been working hard since, you know, something Chronicles came out. It's, it's, it's about time that we gave him a break <laughs> like please give him a break uh, but for the most part you can use somebody else and uh, basically the new star of the game is pretty much Perna um, as you can see uh, from statistics Perna is number one everybody's using Perna because the reason why is because if you get to a point where he actually does uh, the attack where he puts his arm into the ground the arm basically cannot be defense broken and is basically immune to all um uh, it's immune to all you know um harmful effects so that's where perna comes in because perna skill two <laughs> ignores defense so perna is great for this and that's the main reason why perna is pretty much number one so if you have a perna perna is on all teams no matter what mainly because of that uh i was able to do the raid i did the raid before this just to you know see it test it out and we didn't even get to the arm phase because it's still it's 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 to for me i'll say for me maybe it may be there for you guys but for me it's it's really easy it's not that hard at all because we did enough damage and you know we just clumped up did the normal thing we did in old white shadow castle and we never had to worry about the arms ever we just burst them down and, and it was over um i will do a, i will do a run after this so you can see i'll just kill with some randos and see what i get and i'll just show it to you guys but like i said for the most part i just don't find it that hard um and i'll show you my team as well as show you my runes so like i said yeah so perna uh maybe a, like i said any 
Magical Archer, and then as a third option, uh, you could bring Kwahi, you could bring, um, what is it, uh, you could bring Ariel, just as long as you bring a healer. And I will say if, if one person already has Kwahi or there's two Kwahis, bring an Ariel, bring something else. We only need three Kwahis, that's kind of overkill. So you know, you bring in, like another healer that can, you know, that could do like a cleanse at least. So that way, you know, in case it gets too rough, you know, there's a cleanser on the team and the cleanser can help you guys out. So uh, let's go over my team. I'll show you right now. I'm in the hero area because I need room pieces. I need room pieces. So let me show you the team that I use. I'll just skip to it. All right, so like I said, this is the team I use uh, on the first one I did. Really completed it first, first try. No problem. Uh, this is my Perna. Uh, Rage Blade, these are the stats. Like I said, Perna is exceptional for this because of the ignore defense. In case you actually hit the arm phase, you don't have to worry about it. But either way, Perna does a lot of damage and also the brand helps out as well. So you don't have to worry about jack nothing. Just, uh, I will keep Perna on Soul Link, to be honest, so that way you can spam uh, the S2 because the S2 does the most damage and just spam it away, have fun. And yeah, Perna's the best. I would say just take it, Perna. Perna is like really, really good. If you don't have a Perna, um, then you might have to stick to Argon, but if you have Perna, Perna is always there. So either Argon or Perna, but if you have Perna, just use Perna. It makes it a lot easier. Um, I take it as Sharon as my Magical Archer. This is my Sharon. I have her on Swift Precision. I was lucky enough to get some good Precision rooms. They rolled They rolled okay. They could have rolled out better, but this is actually not that bad. Just has all the stats she wants. I see you have attack speed gems. I uh, try to get her attack speed as high as possible. She does give herself attack speed, so you don't have to go super duper heavy in attack speed, but I do suggest a, a Swift set. Swift is really, really good, and I just happen to have 100% accuracy because mine is speed, defense, attack and i'll go through all the runes just so you can see the stats but yeah it's sharon sharon is like really good um also i have the attack and hatsby artifact i'll show you in a second that basically increases her uh basic attacks and with magic archers it's perfect because that's all they want to do regardless anyways they're just basic attackers so there you go you deals 40 percent more damage with basic attacks but deals 20 percent less damage with skill attacks which is totally fine because like i said most of their damage comes from their s1 and then their weak point hits so uh if you don't know with magic archers with their s1 they have a chance to uh trigger weak point and that's what you want because that's what that's what reduces the retrieve soul level and that's why you at least want at least i'll say at least two if you see one one can be totally fine i think one will be just enough but on the safe side two is totally fine if you want to be just super safe about it um just bring two and so it's totally okay um because they do really good damage anyway so i would say bring a uh, two magical archers like i said mine sharing but like i said bring anyone you want it doesn't matter whatever you have that's super like high leveled or you have awakening levels on it ld whatever just bring at least two <laughs> it's totally fine with me um and the last one like i said is ariel just bring a healer this is my ariel just bring somebody that heals cleanses like i said if you um you can also bring wahi as well either or is totally fine um you can even bring Mastet, to be honest because for the shield shield's always nice but um it's either for me it's either gonna be wahi or ariel and yeah that's it uh, but again, I'm gonna show you guys a run. Like I said, this raid is not too crazy. It's literally the same. There's not too much difference. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of how it is with the other raids. How like you know like uh, foggy. The only thing is they strip, so it makes it a little bit more annoying because of the fact they strip. And we also have what is it a uh, Naraka, which has the annoying, and I mean absolutely annoying infernos, which makes it a little bit more difficult. But for the most part, it is not too much difficult. He just wore tank here. It's pretty much the same. But yeah, I'll show you guys a run now. If you guys like this video or or enjoy this content go ahead and like the video i appreciate you and i will see you guys in the next video peace